Some of those who were closest to Kobe Bryant are beginning to share their thoughts about his death. Greg Downer, who coached Bryant at Lower Marion High School outside Philadelphia, said he lost his hero. At a news conference yesterday, he wore the very same warm-up jacket Kobe used before being drafted into the NBA. And John Sally, a former teammate of Bryant's with the Lakers, he shared some of his memories with CBS This Morning Saturday co-host Dana Jacobson. Dana, good morning. What do you have to say? Good morning, Tony. A lot of memories about Kobe Bryant. John Sally was wrapping up his 14-season NBA career just as Kobe Bryant was starting his time in the league. He said Kobe is the greatest player the league has ever seen, but that he leaves behind so much more than just a basketball legacy. He's the biggest Laker of all time. That's bigger than Magic, bigger than Kareem, bigger than Jerry West. By the time he joined the Lakers in 1999, John Sally had already won three NBA championships and played with some of the league's top talent. But when he met Kobe Bryant, he knew he was something special. He walked like MJ. He, he sound like him, his, his mannerisms, uh, his game. I go up to him. And I say, uh, so you're going to be the next Michael Jordan? He goes, no, I'll be the first Kobe Bryant. He had VHS tapes right. of Larry and early Michael and Magic and Clyde Drexler. So he stole little bits from the master and became a grandmaster. You were with the Lakers the first year of their three-peat of championships. Yep. What do you remember of that Shaq Kobe era and time. Kobe would sit, put his headphones on and listen to music, sit in the corner. When I would go sit next to him and he'd be going like this and I would tap him, he'd be like, oh, and he'd take his headphones off. I said, you're not listening to anything. He goes, no. I go, why do you do that? He goes, I want to hear what they say about me. Kobe Bryant pulls up for the shot and hits the basket. And as Kobe transformed from a phenom into an NBA icon, Sally says he watched him learn to embrace his new role. Started becoming more comfortable with his speech because he didn't like the way he talked. He realized that the world was going to be on him, so he's like, let him in. He just showed you this is life, ups and downs, and we all followed it. It was the best reality show ever. He constantly said to, life is short. So I have reworded my whole vernacular. I don't speak in the bad thought. I won't deal in uh, the belly of negativity. How do you hope people remember Kobe? I hope they don't remember the negative. I hope they remember the 60 points. On the move, with the jumper. He 81 points, the championships, the smiles. I want them to remember that this was a guy that played basketball but transcended it. I asked John Sally, like I've asked so many others this week, the best way to honor Kobe's legacy and his memory. And he didn't hesitate in telling me that the NBA should change that silhouette on its logo to an image of the Laker legend. Anthony, yesterday we told you about that petition that had been started. Yeah. 1.5 million signatures yesterday to do that. It's now over 2.5 million. Yeah, and it just keeps growing. A lot it, of people feel that it way. Would be, it would be a fitting tribute, that's for I sure. Dana, so thank too. you. I think it's interesting that John said he wants people not to think about the negative. I don't hear that about Kobe Bryant. I think people are really pulling it because there were many sides to the man but what you remember about him is the champion that he was on and off the court and the yeah. father that he was no, no, I think John Sal is me. getting John Sal is getting his wish on that front yeah, yeah. I, I, I three agree, days later Tony. people are still grieving exactly. and that, that tells you everything exactly